Hi, it's Family Allergy again. It's Dr. Zari. We're going to talk about asthma inhalers. So we have a demo of a wide open lung on the left side, right over here. So nice open airway, and this is an asthmatic lung. Much tighter airway with a lot of phlegm or inflammation showing as yellow in the middle. So if you can imagine, it's much harder to use an inhaler as it is, but when you're having asthma and your airway is quite obstructed or narrowed, it's much harder. It's extremely important to do the few little things necessary to get the inhalation in correctly. So this is a, a recent poster of all the different types of inhalers that are available on the market today. We're going to talk about just a generic inhaler and the correct technique. With us we have Naren today. Naren has been training patients for many, many years on the correct use of inhalers. She probably has seen it all, but she's going to talk to you about how to do it correctly. I'm going to walk her through it. So the first step always, 5% of patients forget to do this one thing, is probably checking the expiration always, looking at the counter to make sure you have enough puffs left. Most of the new inhalers now have counters on the back. 5% of patients forget to take the cap off. She's going to make sure she takes the cap off. Now, she's going to prime it because it's been sitting in the drawer for more than a week. She's going to let the puff out. And as soon as she's primed it, she's ready to go. She's going to completely exhale and empty her lungs for a count of 5 or 8. She's going to gently, slowly take a puff in. She's going to go as, as, as high as she can go for a count of 5 or 8. She's going to hold it for a total count of 10, and she's going to exhale through her nose. Excellent. And she's always going to wait about 30 seconds. She's going to let that air um, go in properly and deposit all the molecules before she takes her second puff. So now that 30 seconds has gone by, she's going to repeat this procedure. She's going to shake it up. Blow all the air out completely, puff gently and slowly. She's not in a hurry, and she's going to make sure that she holds it for a good count of, if you can, count of 10 seconds at least. She's going to let it out through her nose. She has just done two puffs correctly, and it has gone all the way into her airway. This is the end of the inhalation technique. Thank you for watching.